In this video, I'm going to show you how to splatter glaze a bowl, a mug, and a plate. Hi, Marie here, back with another decorating video for you. This time I'll show you how to splatter a bowl, a mug, and a plate with underglaze. This easy pottery glazing technique is another cool way to decorate your pottery. Splattering gives your pottery a unique abstract look that's so much fun to do. I'll test out a few brushes to see what patterns they create first before applying them to my pottery. All the supplies used in this video are listed for you in the show notes below. Let's splatter some pottery. Because of the nature of this splatter technique, you'll need plastic to cover the area you're working in. Before I splatter my pottery, I'm going to test out some brushes and make sure I have the right thickness of my underglaze. I'll be using Speedball Black and Speedball Red. To test out my splatter pattern and the consistency of my underglaze, I have one of my wear boards covered with plastic. If you're not familiar with wear boards, I have a video on how to make these and the ways that you can use them. I left a link for you in the description below. As you can see, the speedball underglaze is too thick for splattering. For this demonstration, I have three tablespoons of underglaze and I'll add one tablespoon of distilled water or eight second squeeze from my spray pump bottle. Any new viewers to the channel, make sure you introduce yourself down below in the comments section. Any and all comments are welcome. You may have to use a little more or less water. That's why testing is best before you splatter. I found this one inch mop brush holds the underglaze really well and produces a nice splatter pattern. Load up your brush. See what holds the underglaze. You want to hold your brush about three to six inches away from your piece and flick your brush. That's a nice pattern. That looks good. Now let's splatter some pottery. Before you glaze, you always want to wipe your bisque wear off with a clean, damp sponge. This is a step you never want to skip. Okay. Ooh, I like that. That's better. Cool. Now you can add more if you like, or just leave it. I like it like that. I'm going to leave it. Now let's do a bowl. Looks good. Okay. Leave it there. Now it's time for the red. Ah, that's it. I like that. Leave it. Okay. 
Mm, one more. Great. Let's do the mug. Test it out. That looks good. Oh, cool. You do a little or a lot. You stop whenever you want. That's the cool part about decorating your pottery. You can make it any way you want. Test it out first. Whoa. You can see that. get inside a bit if I can. Cool. Oh. Let it dry and then we'll put some clear glaze on. Now that the splatter effect under glaze is dry, it's time to put some clear glaze on. And I'm using Amico Sahara liquid glaze. I'm using the medium size hack brush. I want to keep this effect on the foot. So I'm going to put some wax on wax resist. So if I get any glaze on the foot, I can wipe it off, but I'll still have the pattern on the foot. Now let it dry before I put the clear glaze on. Now I'll let that dry and put one more coat of clear on before I put it in the kiln. Once my wax resist is dry, time to put a coat of clear on my bowl. Now that I have two coats of clear glaze on all three of my pieces, I'll let it dry, then into my scut kiln it goes for a final fire at cone five. This bowl turned out really good. And the mug splatter pattern is awesome also. and the plate turned out great. I think this makes a very nice set. You can create some cool splatter patterns too. If you want to learn about more ways to glaze, go to Google and type in nine pottery glazing techniques. I build my list of videos to create based on feedback from viewers like you. Make sure you leave comments or questions in the comments section below for me. To see more videos in the future, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. That way you'll be notified anytime new video comes out. You watching helps me to make more videos like this one. Now head on over to my how to sponge glaze video or this under glaze trace and transfer technique. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty.